Day one of the first Ashes test at the Gabba. What a thrilling day of cricket it's been for the Australian team. Stark's first ball, absolutely amazing. Reminded me of the World Cup in 2015, going full at McCullum. Yes, hit the leg stump. That's straight, that's what you want. Batsman made the mistake, falling over. Absolute beauty by Stark. I felt that he got better as the day went on, bold and short spells. He was starting to get that rhythm with his run up, getting that lean forward, that good pace with his run up, and then the momentum going through the crease. So it was starting to look really good. Pat Cummins, first time captain, absolutely beautiful, no pressure, didn't let, lost the toss, uh, didn't have to make a decision on that, which worked out perfectly for the Australians. Comes out, gets Pfeiffer, uh, absolutely brilliant. So was able to bowl himself in the right situations. I thought his changes of bowlers was really good. He was really thinking about the game. And yeah, brilliant today, by far. Cameron Green getting his first wicket finally for his country. Uh, he was absolutely pumped about it, as was his teammates. They roughed his hair up and it was just brilliant to see. He worked really hard to get that first wicket throughout the past test matches that he played. A lot of plays and misses and, and no luck his way. And finally, today, uh, he got it with a short ball, which was a beautiful short ball. It was the right height, an absolutely amazing catch. Running forward out in the outfield uh, was Josh Hazelwood. Which leads me to Joe Root. And the setup to Joe Root was, was brilliant. Getting him to come forward and be tentative. We know that Joe Root likes to drive the ball. Uh, especially in English conditions, it comes off really well for him, where he can wait for the ball and hit it under his nose. He tried to wait on this ball. Come, sorry, Hazelwood went wider of the crease, used the angle going into Joe Root, and just angled that bat slightly, bounced through nicely on a perfect length. And another great catch. Kerry getting three catches this match in his first Test match. Great to watch the ball go through, taking it quite high. Uh, it would have felt good for him as well. So uh, another good performance there. There was a couple of really good signs from the English batsman. Hamid showed some ticker. Just unfortunate to come out after the, 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 the lunch break and not being able to, to get through that first little period to continue on with the way that he was going about it. Pope was really good. I was thoroughly impressed with him. He looked like he had really good intent, was looking to rotate the strike, and when it was in his zone, he was going for it to play his shots. Stokes looked looked good early on, was leaving really well, looked confident. I think it's only a matter of time with him that he'll get that focus again, playing test cricket. It takes a little bit to get back and, and to make sure that you're focusing on each delivery. Still a lot to go in this test match. Only one innings down for the England batting lineup. Day two is gonna be very important. I think if Australia can start really well and be none or one down get leading into the lunch break, that'll give them a lot of confidence to put on a big total. The inexperience of England's bowling lineup in these conditions is probably a big concern. But again, some fresh faces, they may enjoy the bounce and the pace. It's only gonna get a little bit quicker here, as we know in Brisbane. It may suit their bowling attack, not too sure, uh, but a big day of test match cricket coming on day two.